What's going on everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and today was iPhone day. Finally, the brand new iPhones are in our hands and we're putting them right to the test. But first, let's take a look at the unboxing and first look at Apple's latest flagship, the iPhone 6. <laughs> The iPhone 6 was released in two versions this year, the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus, both with very different designs and sizes from its predecessors that fall before it. This is the iPhone 6, the smaller of the two iPhones released this year, but it's probably going to be the most purchased iPhone of 2014. So let's go ahead and crack open the shrink wrap and open the box. First of all, you are presented with this new white on white box that's very unusual to all other Apple product boxes with product profiles on their packages. The new iPhone iPhone just has a white outline of the device itself and inside you'll find the space gray iPhone 6 sitting neatly inside its plastic tray and well the iPhone 6 is a very pretty device sitting inside. The new iPhone 6 is comprised from mostly aluminum glass and a little bit of plastic to make a brand new great looking design and a fantastically thin profile. But let's put the iPhone 6 aside for just one moment and take a look at what else you get inside the box. First up it's going to be the pamphlet of Apple manuals, warranty information, and obviously your Apple stickers. And beneath that you'll find your standard issue wall warts, lightning USB cable, and ear pods. And that's about it. But let's get back to the main star of the show, the iPhone 6. Its profile and size is completely different from the iPhone 5S, now coming in with a 4.7 inch display and only measuring 6.9 millimeters thick, it's one seriously slick device. Gone are the straight and chamfered edges of the iPhone 5S and come in smooth and aluminum bodies that kind of meet the curved glass right at the sides. Also gone over two glass panels on the back instead for a full aluminum and plastic for the antenna bands. It really makes this device look super premium. It's one really great feeling device and it truly feels like an Apple iPhone and the size of the iPhone 6 to me feels just about right. Much better than the iPhone 6 Plus, which Cam unboxed, but I also have in my hand. Apple has also moved and redesigned some of the buttons to make them more clicky and also responsive like the volume buttons, which are now longer and thinner, and the new power button, which now lives on the right side instead of a top right corner. The new iPhone 6 also has some physical changes as well. It is slightly heavier than the iPhone 5S, but considering an almost full inch gain on the iPhone 5S, it's worth the extra weight. The front facing camera now lives on the left side of the earpiece and they have redesigned the speaker grill to make it a bit more industrial and futuristic. But the iPhone still feels like an iPhone. The only weird feeling is you do have some more space on your home screen thanks to iOS 8 and the larger display. It's kind of hard to explain but it sort of doesn't feel like iOS that we all know today. It feels a little bit more fresh but it's not. It's actually exactly the same. So this has been a very brief unboxing and first look at the brand new iPhone 6. Trust me there is plenty to come from this guy and also the iPhone 6 Plus that I bought along with it. So make sure to stay tuned to PhoneDog.com for all your latest PhoneDog videos which will have lots of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus here for the next little bit. So thanks for watching, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, subscribe and as always my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com and I'll catch you guys in the next video.